Hey guys, and welcome to your back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brianna, and if you're coming back from a previous video, then thank you so much for coming back. I'm glad to have all of you here. As you can see by the title of this video, today I am doing a what's on my iPhone 14 video. So I got my iPhone 14 and unboxed and everything for you guys. I think back in September, I think it was like September like 16th I got it or something like that. And under like the comments for that video, someone requested that I do a what's on my iPhone video, and I've been meaning to film one for a long time and I just remembered to <laughs> film one today so here you go so yeah I have the iPhone 14 um, the like newest iPhone I just have like the regular like iPhone 14 I don't have like the pro or the max or whatever because I feel like that's like too big like to hold I just like the regular sized iPhone so starting off with my case of my iPhone and this video is actually sponsored by case to buy <laughs> Just kidding. I feel like every single person who does like a what's on my iPhone video or any like iPhone video is like, oh, and I think I'm just gonna put this new case on my phone. Okay, this video is actually sponsored by Case to Buy, taking me to the sponsor of this video. No, I'm like totally kidding. I'm not making fun of anyone specific. I'm just saying like, I feel like when people do iPhone videos and then I just like mention my cases just like for fun, but I feel like most people are like, this video is now sponsored by Case to Buy, which they probably do not want to sponsor me. So anyway, I have like a purple case like this that's like clear. I have the cute flower case that's probably in the thumbnail of this video. But honestly, on my phone, most of the time is this clear case. Um, it's honestly like not as good as this case that I got off of Amazon because it has like a front and the back. Like it has like a screen protector basically like on it. And I have like no screen protector or anything on this phone right now. It's just kind of what it is and then my case in the back but I love this case that I got I got it when I was going to well I actually got it because I lost my license one time walking to a happy hour at work and my like license was just like in my pocket because I didn't want to have to like take it out of my bag when I got to the happy hour to show my ID because we were like drinking and stuff and I lost my license and so I got this case when I was going to like Disney and Universal um, because I knew I was gonna be going to theme parks and I didn't want like a lot to carry around all day and so this case has like a little thing right here and, and I just keep my cards I'm not gonna show them and my license in it and it's very very convenient um, to just like have exactly what I need with me at all times because my phone is always with me so highly recommend this case I'll go ahead and like link it down below um, and the other case that I have but yeah going into my actual like what's on my iPhone um, this isn't like an organized super cute like what's on my iPhone video this is just like how my phone currently is at all times without organization or new iPhone 14 aesthetic things or whatever. So the home screen of my phone is just this. I'm just going to show this right here. Um, it's my puppy Miley looking at the city of Chicago when I brought her to the beach. I actually change my home screen sometimes like and do the iPhone 14 thing where you can hold down and then like um, I usually like use this one for like one if I want something more plain because then when I go into my phone it's just like a plain pink background whereas if I go into the one with my puppy on the front the like home screen is my vision board oh actually this is my vision board from 2022 so I need to change it to my 2023 vision board but yeah anyway um this is just what is my home screen I don't know <laughs> what is my home screen I don't know how to speak English so yeah going into my actual phone I'm gonna go ahead and start screen recording right now and I guess put it like right here so like I said it's not like a super aesthetic super organized like iPhone layout it's just what I have right now so the first thing on it is maps and then the wallet I actually like just started using the wallet and Apple Pay and everything and it's so so useful when I went to um, Florida and California and Kentucky I put my iPhone like or not my iPhone <laughs> my airplane tickets on the wallet and it was like super easy to scan so that's easy um, Google Photos I always back up my photos so I never lose anything I have my regular like Apple music and then in this I have my Gmail my regular like Yahoo spam kind of email that I sent on my like weird emails too. Not like my weird emails, but just like stores and Bath and Body Works and Hollister and stuff like that. I send like it to there and then my like old school email, which I'm probably not getting any emails to and I don't remember the password for, so I could probably delete that. Ooh, notification. Um, 
Next is find my friends. Oh my god, another notification. Um, my settings. Then I have like food and drinks. So I have this place called Carrito. I have Chipotle. I have Dunkin'. I have Starbucks. I have a lot of other food apps, but I use like Dunkin' the most. So I just like have that there. And then I have this as like YouTube, like a YouTube folder, but it's not really like a YouTube folder. I mean, I guess kind of, um, it's for like Shazam. So I can Shazam songs that I hear on like other YouTube videos and see if they're copyright free. And then documents where I like downloaded songs when I used to only have iMovie on my phone and film and edit and everything on my iPhone. But now I have my iPad to do that. So that's nice. Um, and then I have like files of like saved music and stuff like that. Then I have like money. So I have like a couple apps for stuff like that. Like I have like Robin Hood for investing. I have my bank. I have Vanguard. I have Mint to see where my purchases and stuff goes. And then I have like Mohella for like college loans and stuff like that. Then into the next box, I have um, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube Studio, Be Real, and TikTok, which are like the social media apps that I use like the most often. And then for shopping, I have the two most important ones. I have Target and I have Amazon, so love that. And then travel, I have Expedia, Uber, Spirit Airlines, American Airlines, Universal, and Disney, which are both places that I went to in 2022. So I have those there. There's a picture of my mom and I, because I have like my little photo app thing there to see pictures and stuff and then on the bottom I have messages notes app my camera app and my photo app which are ones that I use the most often and then that's really it for like my home screen stuff like that I only have like one page of the stuff that I use the most so it doesn't like get too crowded and I hate like having to scroll like three pages to find an app um, and those are the ones that I use the most often and then everything else is on that little app library thing so going into like the folders I guess these are my like suggestions um, okay why is it not letting me like click on the folder I don't know there's a folder and then there's recently added which is Burger King which should go in my food and drinks one um, discord Expedia, Google Photos, this like sushi Japanese restaurant that I like, Hollister, um, this app to send photos to my grandma's like frame that she has and you can send photos there and they pop up on like a little electronic frame. I have Uber, I have Zoom, I guess these are recently added. Um, social ones, Be Real, Discord, FaceTime, GroupMe, Instagram, Messages, Phone, Pi, Snapchat, TikTok, and WhatsApp. And then I have like utilities, I guess. So I have the App Store calculator clock, um, Duo Link to like back up my phone, like photos and stuff like that. I have Find My iPhone. I have Magnifier, um, the app for my grandma <laughs> again to send photos. Um, Safari settings, voice memos, watch, and this like camera thing that we have. And then I have photo and video. So I have camera, Canva, Google Photos, Lightroom, Fonto, Photos, and YouTube Studio. Fonto, Canva, and Lightroom are all things that I use to like edit thumbnails on and stuff like that. So that's there. Then I have like entertainment. I have iTunes, Music, Shazam, Spotify, YouTube. Then travel again. I just have everything that was in my other app except I also have Six Flags, Ventra for like the train that I take every day to purchase my ticket. Or not every day. Every time I go to work. Um, and then Royal Caribbean and yeah i have just like a lot of this is like finance stuff that was like all mentioned before i have venmo too i don't think that was in my other folder then more shopping i have amazon apple store etsy groupon hollister lumel naughty's bath and body works and target i offload some of my apps just to save space if i'm not going to be using them right away and then yeah these are all my food and drink apps most of them are offloaded and i use them like as needed um but yeah i have a ton of food and drink just like apps for any deals mostly ones that i get for like my birthday and then i just keep the app which is good marketing i guess on their part i have auntie annie's buffalo wild wings burger king chipotle crumble cookie carrito dairy queen domino's duncan einstein bagels this japanese place um in kind um which gives like deals for restaurants in chicago jimmy john's mcdonald's bona beef nando's native foods which is a vegan restaurant noodles and company panda smoothie king starbucks subway sweet green sweet water coffee and tropical smoothies so i have a lot <laughs> um and then health and fitness i have this like app that i use um a couple like carb manager things when i wanted to do keto for a while my like doctor's app i have like an eye app for my eye insurance and stuff i have the fitness app the health app an app to like track my macros and stuff modern health a period app this other app called like paired and then my planet fitness app and then i have like productivity i guess an app for work is the first 
first one, then my calendar, my contacts, my documents, my files, my email, my notes, my reminders. Um, I don't even know what that is. I think that was like freelance work, the Upwork or whatever. The widgets, the workspace for another app for work, um, Zoom, and then this is like other, I guess. So there's like fun apps on there and then hot pads, heads up, Pinterest, weather, and words with friends, which I play with my grandma. So yeah, that's honestly what's on my iPhone. I don't even, that, that doesn't seem that exciting. I don't know, but that's what's on my iPhone. This, that's basically it. I don't know. Like, I feel like that was not an exciting video um, <laughs> because I feel like it's just like such a basic like phone layout. I don't have anything like super aesthetic or anything on it. I feel like my phone here, I'm going to screen record again and I'm going to see like when I change my thing to like the other layout, like it looks more aesthetic like this, right? Just like the, I don't know, the pink behind like everything instead of like my vision board. I feel like it looks a little more aesthetic, just like nicer, cleaner. I feel like I should have shared this one with you guys instead of the other one. But yeah, that's basically what is on my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know how you organize your phone in the comments below if you put everything in like the app library or if you make little folders for every single thing. I kind of just keep the things that I use the most on like my main one screen and then in the app library I look up anything else like just like the apps and stuff like that by like their name. Just like type it in then it's right there and it's easy and more organized I guess. But yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did don't forget to give this video a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it so so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Let me know if this is even interesting or if you want any other iPhone videos. Okay, bye.